Hello again. So it has been a little while since I last made any sort of video for this channel, but I'm back and I'd like to try and make a few more this year. So here we are with our first video of 2024. It's only March, that's okay. So I thought it's time to dust off the cobwebs and have another go at making a few painting videos. If you saw the last video of me painting a chicken, I managed to actually finish that entire project. I painted all the 12 chickens, I turned them into a calendar, and I did a tentative order of 20 calendars um, just to test the waters, and I sold all of them, so that was very exciting. Um, and so I did another order of, I think, seven or so, and um, they all sold out too. And by that point, I think it was around the 10th of January, and I thought, okay, that's enough, we'll call it there. So the chicken calendar was a success, hooray. <laughs> and as far as my general painting has been going, it was on and off a bit towards the end of last year, but this year I've started by taking it a lot more seriously and I have been painting quite a bit, which is good. Um, and a new thing that I've tried, or a couple new things really. Firstly, I've cracked open my gouache set that I bought a couple of years ago, but I didn't really use it at all, like literally at all. I painted like one thing, thought, oh, I don't get it and then put it away. So I broke that out. I've started playing with it and experimenting with it, doing a few tutorials, just trying to generally get a hang of it. And I've enjoyed it so far. Um, watercolor is still my main thing that I do come back to, but it's been nice to try a similar but different medium for a change because I was getting a little bit tired, not of watercolor as a medium, but the lightness and um, not getting the depth in the watercolor that I wanted. So I thought, well, I'm, I don't want to go full um, oils or acrylics because I just don't have the studio space for it and it can be messy and I don't want to step into that world yet. But gouache would be the next best thing so I gave that a go and yeah, it's good so far. Another thing that I've been trying out, which is what I'm painting on today, is watercolour boards. Ever since I started painting, it's just been purely on paper. But over the Christmas break, I was wandering through just a craft supply store and I saw that they had watercolour canvases, which I thought, oh yeah, it'd be worth trying out. And then I saw watercolour boards and I thought, okay, um, they were $5 a pop. So I just bought one because I thought $5 for a painting, which you could potentially screw up and I may not even enjoy doing anyway. I'm, a, I'm willing to part with $5, but not, you know, 20 or more. So <laughs> I only bought one, um, gave it a go. It turned out really nice. It is so forgiving. I thought I'd do a landscape with the whole clouds and everything because it's something I rarely, if ever, do. Because as you know, paper warps very easily. I always manage to um, add way too much water, which is just bad technique from my part, but it's never been a very pleasurable experience at all. So I thought, well, this is, this should be pretty forgiving. So I'm going to do a full landscape, clouds, a lot of it, and let's give it a go. And as a reference photograph, I, I picked one that I took last year from a walk that I went on. Um, and my God, it turned out really, really well. The painting itself is nothing crazy, but the experience of it and how forgiving the board was, um, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. I need to do more of this. So I did order five more boards so I can do more landscapes like that. So that's why I thought I'd open up this one today and paint on this board. So what am I painting? Um, I haven't even explained that yet. So this was a photograph um, that I took on Christmas Eve 2023. So just this Christmas gone. And it was one of those times where you're looking out to the horizon and there's dark gloomy clouds everywhere but right where you are the sunlight's still breaking through those clouds and it's all golden and it's touching all the right places on the landscape and it just looks phenomenal so i took quite a few pictures of that evening 
um, and I painted my favorite one which is also my background on my phone so just it's such a nice picture <laughs> and I'm also trying to experiment a lot more with lighting in my pictures because a lot of the things I paint are a little bit flat so these days I am trying to be a bit more experimental and just let things happen instead of being so controlling with watercolor because I was definitely getting very controlling over watercolour and it was starting to really get on my nerves because obviously it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do or it just wasn't looking right. Towards the end of last year I think I fell into just the wrong mindset with watercolour and now me and it seems to be getting along a lot better so that's good. <laughs> I think the hardest part for this painting was definitely doing the bushes that you can see. Um, I didn't want to get too detailed and it shows, <laughs> but um, I wanted a little bit more detail than I did end up doing um, because they are very sort of lumpy. They're classic like beach bushes. It's where a lot of fairy penguins hide out during the day. So they're very dense. I think I, I got the roundedness right, but there's too little detail, I think maybe i think that that would be one of the main things i'd change they're just a bit too fuzzy and blurred in hindsight i try and place a few more bushes or the ones in the foreground i'd make them a little bit more detailed just so they stand out a bit more and it's sort of evident that they're a bush and not an attempt of a little hill <laughs> some of them look like little mountain ranges actually <laughs> which is not what i was going for but i did have a lot of fun playing with the yellow ochre in this um there there is a lot of yellow ochre paint it is one of my favorite paints to use. It's very versatile. So as far as this channel goes, I'm thinking of just doing a lot of paint with me's and a few tutorials and not taking it too seriously. Um, not that I took it too seriously before. Have you seen what I've created? But I was definitely overthinking it a lot of the time. And I was trying to aim for getting a lot of people to watch my videos and also trying to make something professional and also obviously trying to have that video resonate with me as well there was a lot of things in the mix and it just got a bit too much i overthought it and then it all fell apart which is the way it goes isn't it so i think simple's best and if you're happy with watching paint with me's and things similar to this then that's good if you have any other ideas i mean i'd be open to hearing them but but it just depends on the time factor because i am still actively trying to grow a little bit of an art business out of this. That's what I've been focusing on my Etsy and um, making my website look decent and I'll be opening a few commissions up soon, I think. Um, what am I, where am I going with this? Oh, I don't want to spend all of my time editing videos and creating content when I could be creating art. That's the main thing. So trying to keep it simple, simple and meaningful. Just like this piece of painting that I'm painting, piece of painting that I've painted. <laughs> There's a sentence for you. I hope you like this little video and thank you for watching. Sorry it has been a very long time since I last made anything, but I am happy to bring this channel back from the dead too. So it's good to be back. So as for schedules, I'll try for once a month. I think that's doable. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right then, until the next video, thanks for watching and bye for now.